Hey guys, welcome back to Provinces Math Club. Today's topic is what is LCM? LCM is also known as least common multiples. And least common multiples are pretty much the same thing as common multiples, except you have to find the least or the smallest multiple for both of the numbers that is common in between both of the numbers, okay? So for instance, let's say we have the two numbers, 5 and 12. And you need to find the least common multiple for both of these numbers. You will do that by making a diagram, so a diagram or also a table you could call it, like this. And you're going to list 5 over here and 12 over here. And you're going to list each of the multiples for both of these. So for 5 you're going to list some multiples and for 12 you're going to list multiples until you find a match. So for 5, let's keep on going. Now remember, there is a pattern for 5 that you, as you keep on going, it's just going to be adding 5. So what I mean by that is 5 times 1 is 5, times 2 is 10, times 3 is 15. As you can see, I'm just adding 5 to that. So if I keep on going, I'll eventually get up to a higher number that is going to be like a multiple of 5, right? So 5 times 3 is 15, then it will be 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then I get 60, and I'm going to about stop over here. Now I can tell how much, how much um, I multiplied by 5 to get that by dividing. So if I were to just take 40 and divide that by 5, I get 8. So that means 5 times 8 gave me 40, right? So that's just an easier way to list the multiples, okay? And now I'm just going to do the same thing for 12. So 12 times 1 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 3 is 36, times 4 is 48, times 5 is 60. Now if you take a look over here, I really don't need to go on because I have just found my first matching pair of numbers that are common, my first pair of common multiples, which is 60 and 60. So since this is my very first pair that is common, this is going to be my least common multiple because it is the least or the smallest number that I could find that is common in between both of the numbers, which is 5 and 12. That means the LCM or least common multiple for both of these numbers is 60. Now that we've tried one example, let's try another example with larger numbers. So 5 and 12 are pretty small numbers, right? Now what if we have numbers such as 14, and 28. Okay, these are pretty big numbers, right? So I'm going to do the same thing, make a diagram or also called a table, 14 and 28. And first I'm going to list a few multiples for 14. So 14 times 1 is 14, times 2 is 28. Now if I stop here, I got 28. Now I haven't really listed any multiples for 28 yet, but I can already tell like any number always has that number as a multiple. So 4, 4, I'm sorry, excuse me, 14, 14 is still a multiple of 14 because any number times 1 is going to give you that number, right? So if I were to multiply 28 by 1, I still get 28. So 28 would still be a multiple of 28. And since this is 14 times 2 is also 28, these two are common. And since this is the very first pair of matching common multiples that I found, this has to be my LCM. So even though these are very large numbers, sometimes it could be you will find LCM like in the first pair of multiples that you list, or sometimes you have to keep on going. But that means for 14 and 28, our case, it means LCM or the least common multiple is 28. So that's that for what is LCM. Now, I hope you guys understood this topic and got the key points and factors for what I wanted you guys to learn about. And now visit our website for further coming up topics and also some practice problems on LCM and also other topics that we have, you have already reviewed or coming up topics. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.